I have never played Undertale. I have not tried it. I have not watched it. I actually don't really know what Undertale is. It's it's something that everyone talks about, something that everyone loves, and I was always well, I don't plan to play it, but I don't want to spoil myself. So I never watched anything. So I don't really know what it is. So today is literally the first time I'm seeing any kind of Undertale gameplay. And that is going to be interesting. Hmm. So let's go ahead and launch up the game here. And we're going to find out if Undertale... Well, what it actually is. Because I don't know. I don't know. Let's shrink myself down. Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious! They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Mount Ebert, 21X. <laughs> Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. I like this music. I'm into it already. Stumbling upon a secret. That's how all retro games start. Hmm. What is that? Undertale. Hmm. <sighs> all right, all right. Yeah, I'm into it. The music is surprisingly good. I've already set up the settings. This is the furthest I've ever been. We're gonna begin game. Name the fallen human. Uh, I like how wiggly everything is. It's all just wiggles. Uh, well, we only use one name on this channel. I'm looking for the letter G. Oh, there it is. Okay. No. What? I have not used an inter. Okay. G. Okay. No. How do I. What's backspace? Backspace is not backspace. Do I... How do I backspace? X. Okay. <laughs> These controls. Uh, gamer... The wiggling's actually throwing me off. Look, we're already struggling. Wait, what? Did I press the wrong... Do we have a... Oh, we have a limit. Oh, I see. Okay. We're, it's limited. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're just Zack then. Okay. Oh, that that was that was harder than I expected. But we are Zack the Fallen Human. Is this name correct? Yes. Yes, I'm. I'm pretty sure. Okay. We're in the game. We have stats. We're level 1. 20 hit points. Zero attack, zero defense, zero experience, and 10 to the next one. We have a stick and bandage. Zero gold. Very good. Oh, now I'm sure a lot of you have played this game. And there's a big creepy door. And I don't know how any of this is gonna go. It's a flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. I assume it's pronounced Flowey. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. 
Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. What's a level stand for? Why? No, love. Of course, we gotta gain lots of love. You want some love, don't you? Now, that, that's a weird way of saying that. That's, uh, don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that language was suspicious. Okay. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up on an opportunity like this? Shine. <laughs> Have we lost already? Have we lost already? Oh. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Are there other ways? Are there other ways? Are there other ways? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> okay. We're gonna follow... What is that? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. File saved. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Hmm. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Hmm. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Alright. I see. Can I read these? Only the fearless may proceed. The brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. I like that. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Handy. Stay on the path. That looks like a door. That look, the, the bottom is different. Okay, fine. Please press this switch. Toriel. Look, the game already told us... <laughs> ...not to trust friendly faces. And here's another friendly face. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. You know... What happens if you pull the wrong switch? Please press this switch too. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. I'm I'm suspicious of everything already. Like I can't I just feel like I'm missing things. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, the process is simple. 
When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Uh, it's a... Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna make a snarky comment here. <laughs> you encountered the dummy! So many snarky comments in my head. Ah! Uh, It's a YouTube comment simulator. Okay, I had to say one of them. Okay, okay. What is this graph? Dummy stands around, absent-mindedly. What do I do? Was I supposed to do that? How, how do I... how did I... Ah, the dummies are not for fighting, they are for talking! We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Look, I didn't know what I was doing! I just hit it with a stick! <laughs> They're like, have a friendly conversation with this dummy. And I just... There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Earlier sign said stick to the path. I don't know if this matters or not. Froggit attacks you. Act? Froggit? It looks sad. I'm gonna compliment the frog. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> it looks so ashamed. <laughs> it's just... I get no experience of doing any of this. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. I see. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. It's the path, right? That's why the earlier sign said stick to, stick to the path. Toriel said, I wonder if you can solve it, but then solved it for me. Why? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Really? You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I wonder... I would like to talk... I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Totally inconspicuous, just the only object in the room, framed by the vines. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Be good, alright. I feel like the wording in this... In this is very specific. Cell. <laughs> Say hello? This is Toriel. 
You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Click. Okay. I guess we just keep wandering around then. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? What's the point of having puzzles if you're going to explain all of them? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Well saved. Leaf pile. Okay, random encounters. Froggit hopped close. What is mercy? Spare. Hop hop. Oh. Froggit hops to and fro. Compliment? Blushes deeply, ribbit. Okay. What is that? Whoa! Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. I'm gonna threaten you. Shiver, shiver. Can I flee? Escaped. Okay. Huh. I gotta experiment a bit more, but... We have a leaf pile right here. So it should be okay. Don't recognize that. Wimson approached meekly. Console. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Who are you then? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human, a ribbit. Okay. Okay. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. No, I'm not taking decided not to take some. I'm not taking any candy. So this... Okay. It's not instant death. Frog it hopped, clo hopped close. So... What is check? Frog it. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, yeah. Ribbit, ribbit. Okay, Frog it doesn't seem to know why it's here. Okay, we can compliment the frog. Okay. Frog it seems reluctant to fight you. Spare? I earned two gold. I think that's the first time I earned anything. Oh. Just, just trying to make sure there's no, nothing I'm... So can I just flee? Yes, I can just flee. Okay. 
Okay. That's a little bit of a puzzle. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Bscotch. <laughs> no, I actually prefer cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Then no, no, butterscotch is fine. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Three out of four grey rocks. So, there is always fight, but... So we can spare fight or flee from those things. Is that all it is? Alright. And Sufa says, we can reading, bruh? Not everyone. Someone might be watching this on mobile. Also, I'm a huge advocate of... of accessibility. Accessibility. So, for the sight impaired, I read. Now, this looks insane. Hmm. It doesn't... Oh. It behaves somewhat... Oh, this is the path. This is the path here. Okay, I see. Please don't step on the leaves. Okay, I got it. Down, up, okay. Okay, got it. Mold small, blocked the way. Let's check it. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Slime sounds. Oh, I see. It's a bullet hell. Okay. Waits pensively. Imitate! You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Squarch! Waits pensively. Flirt? You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> the aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Spare? You won! And one gold. Okay. Wait, I gotta... Down, up, down, up. So it should be down. A pair of froggets hops towards you. Froggit A. Compliment. Blushes deeply. Hop, hop. Ribbit. So is it double attacks? Because there's two of them? The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Ah, I see. So I can, when their names turn yellow, they basically become satisfied, right? With whatever... Rugged seems reluctant to fight you. So now I can spare and... Okay, four gold. Okay, but zero experience for doing any of this. And I think it's down here? Right up to the wall. Oh, I didn't read the sign. What does that sign say? Didn't you read the sign that- <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh... Alright. 
right? Encounters are frequent. So I assume once you... Once you figure out an enemy, you know how to deal with them, basically. Right. So, what happens if I try flee from here? Don't slow me down. Oh, okay. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you. Okay. It's not quite far enough. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it. Hmm, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. How about the others? Did the others say anything? Do these matter? If I just do this. Froggit and Wimson Jr. So the Wimson's already fine, so if I just compliment the Froggit... I have no choice. Ah. Oh, jeez! What? So that Wimson is actually real powerful. Three out of four. Oh. You're gonna stay there. <laughs> Aren't things easier when you just ask? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Mouse is in there. Is that a ghost lying in the pile of leaves? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly. I thought I was doing it wrong. He's literally saying Z. <laughs> Move it with force. Now the rock just told us that you should ask nicely. There's no way around. What is the puzzle? Hmm. Are they gone yet? I would have to say yes, they are gone because there's no one here. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. I don't have any items. So? About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Hmm. Do I just push the ghost out of the way? I feel like there should be... A different way because the rock just told me that I shouldn't be pushing people around but I don't see another option here are they gone yet hmm. 
Move it with force. Hmm. I'm gonna give this a little bit more thought, but then I might just move it with force, because I don't see another option. Ruins mouse hole. Can't take the cheese. I don't have any items. I have nine gold, but zero experience. The only thing I haven't done is take candy. Okay, so I gotta be a bit more prepared here, because that happens. Jeez, it's so hard! Spare. Well, we got two more gold, but I don't know. I think you only get experience if you kill creatures. Okay, I can't think of what to do, so I'm just going to push the ghost. I know, I know that's gonna be... it's bad. I know it's bad. I know it's bad! For those of you who have played the game, you're all going, No, don't push the ghost! You know, one hour from now, it's gonna be horrible. Or just two seconds from now. Move it with force. Look, I, I know, I know that's the wrong option. I can tell it's the wrong op option. We were just told not to move things with force. But I'm gonna do it. Here comes Napstab look. We're gonna have to check. Nap, stab, look. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Jeez. Nap, stab, look is staring into the distance. Cheer? You gave Napstab look a patient smile. Is, is that a cheer? <sighs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Oh no. Napstab look looks just a little bit better. Okay, that's good. That's good. Flirt. I'll just weigh you down. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez, these things crawl. Okay. Okay. Now, Sab look looks just a little bit better. This is a survival game. Let's cheer again. He told Nap Sab look a little joke. <laughs> oh, tears again. These ones come out at slightly erratic directions. Okay. Cheering seems to have improved Nap Sab looks mood again. Let's try cheer again. Napstab look wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluk. Do you like it? Napstab look eagerly awaits your response. Threat. No, I can't threat. <laughs> Flirt again? Oh no. Was that the wrong one? I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. It was the solution! I could have just killed him again. That was a puzzle. Can I go back and heal? Does that cause the enemies to respawn? Is this Dark Souls? Is this Dark Souls? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Let's peek to the right. It's just a sign. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. 
leave 18 G in the web. 18. Well, I don't have any items. I guess I get the small one. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Spider donut. Uh, info. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Now it's spider cider. Cider with spiders in it or cider made by spiders. It's an important distinction. Oh, so you can come back and buy more. Okay. Spider bake sale. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. <laughs> okay. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Yeah. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. <laughs> That's right. Pressing X. Oh, not you too. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. I like how they've contextualized the controls. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave... Uh, to leave room in your pockets for that. Ah, we can't... Can't put down items, can we? Okay. Me gosp crawled up close. So mold small. What is this? Obey the overmind. Okay, 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 okay. Mold small burbles quietly. Okay. What? What is? I'm not. I'm on fight. I gotta check. What are you? It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. I got it. Legion, we are legion. Okay. The aroma of lime gelatin. Okay. Migos. We gotta talk to you. What's wrong? I don't care! It's a teenager. Oh no. D did that wrong. Okay. Migos. Talk! Still doesn't care? Can I give you a donut? I don't know. That seems a little... Just keep trying to talk to it? How, is, how does this work? Maybe I do... Maybe it does need a little hit. Is this how much damage we do? Maybe you'll care now that I've hit you twice? Still doesn't care. Okay. Jeez. Ah. Okay. Maybe I check it again. It's just with the wrong crowd. Oh! The problem is the slime. It's being more literal than I, I thought it would be. Mold 
mold small. <laughs> Try taking away its cell phone. Can I just spare? What is this? Is it gonna jump? What is it? What? It's it's he's he's dancing. Okay. 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 I know his name's Yellow. He's smiling now. Look at that. Talk. Hi. He was fronting. He was fronting for his friends. This is why you don't front for your friends. Because I hit you twice. Okay. <laughs> okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. There is just one switch. Do I want to heal with the donut? You know, I might as well. You ate the spider donut, because I feel like I'm gonna die. There is only one switch. Okay, so what I want to do is spare immediately and... My gosh, doesn't have a care in the world. See what happens when you stop caring what people think. Hmm. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Devour? Dinner? Check. Vegetoid. Serving size one monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Farmed locally. Very locally. What does that mean? It's bounding... Vegetoid's here for your health. Talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Cackles softly. Dinner? You pat your stomach. A vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! I miss the green. I miss the green! Dinner. Eat your greens. So I'm supposed to get the green one? That healed me. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. So now we can spare. Four gold. Okay. Okay. So there's only one switch, but there's other things in the other rooms, but not this room. So this is the switch. Here's our ghost friend. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Alright, we probably saved our ghost friend a little bit. Luke's a junior, right? Don't pick on. Check. Don't pick on him. <laughs> it just tells you. Family name I. Oh, it's Luke's Eyewalker. Okay. Please don't pick on me. Luke's is gazing at you. So, don't pick on? Finally, someone gets it. Staring right through you. Spare. Hmm. I wonder what happens when you pick on him. Is this another vegetable? 
Vegetoid came out of the earth. So it should be the same. So this this game is all about getting to know Damn it! Getting to know the monsters. I shouldn't I shouldn't shouldn't stretch for the green. Eat your greens. Ooh, okay. Vegetoid's here for your health. Spare. Okay. Okay. Is that everything? There's one more room. What is that? You found a faded ribbon. Okay, so we know how to do this. We spare immediately. Yeah, so it's all about getting to know your enemies. That's what this, this game is about. At least this... This approach. I can see playing the game and you could just hit everything, can't you? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. And what are all these? It's a switch. I don't know what these switches do. Alright, so we know what to do. So if you're good, you can actually just heal up using Vegetoid, but it's a risk, right? I'm not stretching for it, that just gets me damaged. Okay. This is like, offers you a healthy meal, and then they just throw the plate of vegetables in your face. That's not so good, but uh, that's just spare. I think we've got to start running if we're not confident of winning. So this is not a door, it's a change in perspective? If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. A pair of looks decided to pick on you. Don't pick on them. Jeez. So, I actually have a choice here. If I spare, one leaves and it makes it easier, doesn't it? But I have to go through one more... Ah, I'm almost dead. Luke gnashes its teeth. We might die right here. Oh, that was close! It's a switch, press it. Yes. Look, I know how to solve this puzzle. If you can read this, press the red switch. Oh, can I flee? Escaped. That means the sign. What's up there? A pair of vegetables. Surely I can run from vegetables. Okay. Press the green switch. Oh, it's gotten harder. Wait, where's the green switch? It's this one.
Got it. Got it. <sighs> Keeps telling me not to step on the leaves. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. I bet Toriel is like the main bad guy, isn't she? Oh, oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh, well, maybe I should have gone through that door first. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? You will get an apology. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. a toy knife on her. Let's shank Toriel. <laughs> not yet, not yet. What? What is this mat? Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Seeing such a cute tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Is there a way to read signs above doors like that? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Just, just run. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Bit of a busybody. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Stove top's very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Okay. Nothing suspicious. Just be snooping around. The music stops. Hey, do not go down. Ah, I found it. I found whatever it is. I have something to show you upstairs. Mm. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. I feel like. I can't outrun her, can I? Fine. Fine. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. I don't think anything's burning. The pie was already out of the oven. So distrusting. Look, that was the literally the first lesson of the game was don't trust friendly faces. 
I think you should play upstairs instead. Like, the first lesson of this game was don't trust the smile. Or as In the Woods would tell you, nice is different than good. Room under renovations. It's you. You have seen this type of plan before, but do not know its name. Flower seeds and some broken crayons. I suppose I pick those up. Oh. Oh, I can actually look at info. Faded ribbon. Armor defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Oh. Use? You equip the ribbon. Toy knife. Info. Toy knife. Weapon attack. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. I guess I should equip it anyway. You equip toy knife. Okay. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passages. This is this is a huge choice, isn't it? I'm just I'm just thinking I'm just thinking every single choice in this game. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Flowers stand out as well. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Cactus. <laughs> this this is one of the jokes that I actually have seen from this game before. I saw a screenshot of this. Ah, uh, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Uh, uh, so, you inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I guess I don't read the diary. Oh, it is a water sausage. Oh, okay. So I get a room. Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. That could mean one kid grew up and the kids not here anymore. Or oh, there were multiple kids. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. You'd rather stay up and chat with me, then? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't a very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? I feel like asking that. Yeah, this, this, this is not, this is, this is all highly suspicious. And asking when can I go home? 
is going to make things more difficult, isn't it? I guess I go to sleep. Pies just left. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. The previous kid is probably in the pie. Hmm, <laughs> which shoe size is today? Hmm. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Butterscotch pie, all HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. I don't know if I should... Should I ask? So, there's the diary. There's asking her straight up. That room's under renovations, which is also, I don't trust. But stepping back outside, there's nowhere else to go, is there? Unless something has changed. She came from here with groceries? But this looks like it's just a balcony overlooking a city of some kind. Like, I can go back out, but I don't remember missing any doorways or anything. Alright, so we basically got ask how to leave the dungeon or read the diary. Now, without spoilers, which one should I do? Like, it doesn't have to be the right choice, it just has to be the interesting choice. Which one? Ask her how to leave the dungeon or read the diary. Not both? I don't know, because I don't know if both is an option. <laughs> well, doing one might influence my decision on the other. Uh, Alright, put hearts for the diary, broken hearts for talking to her. Like, which one should I do first? Because I could... Like doing, like I don't know which one I should do. Doing one will influence my next decision, my next path. All right, mostly hearts. To the diary it is. Wrong room. No, that's, that's slightly up. Bucket of snails, okay. Toriel's diary, read the circled passages. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. They're jokes. They're just jokes. Okay. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Okay, sometimes you read someone's diary and it's, it's nothing.
Definitely bigger than a twin size bed, okay. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Okay. Alright. I'm feeling pretty bonely right now as well. That leaves one option. We gotta talk to her. I got nothing else to do. I got nothing else to do. What is it? We gotta ask how to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Waste no time. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as gore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Can you just go upstairs and be a good child? I don't know. You want to leave so badly? Humph. You are just like the others. Time to become part of the shoe collection. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. <laughs> Toriel blocks the way. Check. Attack 80, defense 80 knows best for you. Jeez! What? Oh, come on. Okay. Toriel is acting aloof. That only did one damage. She's going easy. Maybe she's not evil after all. I don't know. I bet she's still evil. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Really? Toriel prepares a magical attack. But there's nothing... Items? Well, she wants to prove me to prove that I'm strong. I got my toy knife. That came from the other direction. I got confused. Okay, okay, okay. Toriel looks through you. Twenty-one damage. Oh, come on. Toro's acting aloof. Okay. That didn't do a lot of damage. So that's 21. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I did this so perfectly last time. There's a pattern. I just can't see it. There's a magical attack. Okay. Well, we have the pie. You ate the butterscotch pie. The HP was maxed out. I keep... Ah... Going the wrong direction there. That's 15, okay. Come on! So, middle is... Come on. Come on! Found the spot. There's a magical attack. I guess I just keep... Oh, they move! I never got that far! 
Oh, I need more spider donuts. 26. Ah, I did it wrong. I don't know if I can do this. She's not even at half health. I did it. Oh, I was so close to not getting hit there. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, there was no way out! <laughs> I just got it twice! I did that so bad! Toriel takes a deep breath. Ah. Oh. 28. There's a magical attack, which is... Oh no! Looks through you. Okay. What is this? Wait. They're dodging. <laughs> she is going easy, isn't she? Toriel's gonna let me win. She's already letting me win. Talk. Nothing to say? Doesn't look like I can spare yet. No, I can't just do 300 points of damage. Uh... You are stronger than I thought. Hmm. It's like trying to catch a Pokemon. And it's like, okay, I just need to do one hit here and I'll be weak enough. Critical. <laughs> Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Why has this game got to do this to me? Why has this game got to do this to me? I was suspicious of her the whole time and now I still don't know whether she's just faking. <laughs> That's not part of the good ending plan, is it? Still, look, villains like to fake their death, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, my heart. She died. I d it looks like it. We killed her with a toy knife. And it's this guy. He he he. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. 
That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Oh, that's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> I feel like I- I just feel like I did everything wrong in this entire intro. That- that- that whole scene was just the intro to the game. And I'm out here in the wilds and I killed the person who was helping. But I don't know... Going back upstairs would have just had me trapped there forever. But here I am out in the cold, by myself. It was your choice to attack. Was there a flea option? Maybe there was a flea option. Anyway, that that was my first experience with Undertale. I'm gonna I'm gonna just hang here because I feel like I need to process what I just went through. Hmm. So I'm I'm just gonna just gonna bring this to a close right here. <laughs> I may or may not come back to this. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my first foray into Undertale, the renowned game that everyone talked about so much years ago, and I totally avoided until now. Time to kill some flowers. Yeah, I feel like I go. Oh no, oh no, uh, we gotta have to reason with him and spare him, right? Uh, killing the flower is gonna be bad, right? Ah! Anyway, I'm gonna bring this to close. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed or found interesting my first try of this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>